welcome to plsql02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this uh, tutorial, I will explain you what plsql is. So, topics include what is plsql, SQL versus plsql, plsql engine, SQL within plsql, network traffic, types of blocks, procedures, functions, and packages, processing of a plsql block, plsql program structure. Okay, so let's start. What is PLSQL? First you need to know what is SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language and PLSQL is a procedural extension to SQL. It's, uh, it's called Procedural Language Extension to SQL. Alright? So, a few basic things you need to understand is SQL is a language that you can use to talk to any relational database. For example, Oracle is a database from Oracle Corporation, IBM's DB2, Microsoft SQL Server. SQL could be used to talk to any of the relational databases plus there are tons of other relational databases out there okay however you need to understand PLSQL is a proprietary Oracle language okay you can't use PLSQL to talk to DB2 or SQL server okay so now having said that you need to understand uh, why do you need PLSQL isn't SQL enough what can you do with SQL for, first of all okay In, with SQL you can create objects okay using create drop alter command you can create uh, you know, drop and alter objects, for example, table indexes, views, etc. You can manage data using select, update, and delete command. Okay, you can do transactional processing like rollback, commit, etc. And uh, you can do some t database security. Uh, you can man manage database security, creating users, assigning privileges, roles, etc. Okay, but why do you need PLSQL? Okay, in SQL, you you should one command at a time to the database. You you are not really writing a big program. What is a program? Program is a group of instructions. It's not like one instruction at a time, and instructions are dependent on each other, right? One instruction can pa can pass information to the next instructions, okay? And you can do con conditional instructions, if this, then that, etc. So what can you do with PLSQL? PLSQL, you can do conditional processing, like if this happens, then do that. Like if average salary is less than this, then do this, etc., etc. You can do loops, okay? Continue reading the table uh, until you reach this record, for example, or you can do some other looping as well. So uh, looping uh, like uh, it's different than full table scan that you can do through SQL okay now uh, you can do exceptional hand handling like if this error occurs then do this if this error occurs then do that you can store values in temporary variable one instruction can store value in some variable so that other instructions can read that okay so you can write like group of instructions uh, dependent on each other so it's like a full programming language that's what uh, PLSQL uh, can do so PLSQL comes in when you need to perform complicated tasks that beyond SQL uh, now let's talk about some database uh, products of uh, some Oracle products like Oracle makes database their flagship product or Oracle database they also make some other tools to de develop software like form designer report designer you can use PLSQL language in any of Oracle in most of Oracle products okay for example you can write PLSQL program within the database you can write them at the form and form designer level or report designer level now the point here is that uh, PLSQL engine is built into most of Oracle products so if you write a PLSQL program at, at the database side it will be processed by the database PLSQL engine if you write a PLSQL program at form or report designer level it, it will be processed by the PLSQL engine at form and report designer okay now you need to understand one more thing that PLSQL program could consist multiple SQL statements within the program okay now the problem is that the PLSQL instructions will be processed by the PLSQL engine however uh, the SQL statement has to be sent to the SQL engine now the SQL engine only resides on the database side SQL engine doesn't uh, uh, it's not included in any of the other product so if you're writing a PLSQL program on the forms uh, or report designer level that has lots of SQL statements so each SQL statement will be sent to the database machine so there will be a lot of network traffic going back and forth let me give you an example. So this is the PLSQL program you're uh, writing at the application server. It has, like, let's say, three SQL statements. Each of these SQL statements has to be sent to the database because the SQL en engine is only residing on the database side. So uh, instruction will go back, result will come back, right? This instruction will go to the database, and the database will send the result back to the application server. So like six times the traffic would flow. So what you can do is you can copy the whole PLSQL program and send it to the database side because you can also store program the database side. Here the, there will be only network will traffic will flow only twice. Some other program from th this side will call this program and all this processing will happen on the database side and the result will be sent back to the application server. Okay, So 
that was just an example to show you how you can reduce the network traffic now let's talk about types of PLSQL blocks okay so PLSQL program can reside in the database you once you putting a PLSQL program in the database you have to name it something okay so that you can call it by the name for example calculation program or salary calculation program etc etc similarly you can uh, store the PLSQL program at the form designer report designer level as well it has to be named uh, it has to have a name okay so you can write lots of logic and you can name it so uh, it's called name block okay similarly like similar to name block uh, there's something called anonymous block okay what is anonymous block anonymous, like there's a query tool you can basically install query tools as we talked earlier uh, on any machine right and basically the query tool send instructions to the uh, to the database and database send result back to the query tool okay actually I talked uh, about query tool in my SQL 02 pro introduction now you can write a, a quick PLSQL program without calling it anything and Oracle can uh, run it uh, for you as a one-time run okay and that's called anonymous block so you're not storing it in, in any of the Oracle product you are just passing it as one-time program to Oracle you can store it in a notepad file or anything for or Oracle cares but Oracle is not storing that program for you it's like one-time instruction so it's called anonymous PLSQL block now the name block can be divided into uh, uh, into three type procedure functions and packages okay and in coming tutorials I'll be talking about uh, all these things procedure functions and packages packages is simply a group of procedures and functions okay and the main difference between procedure and function is that function returns one value back so you call function so that function can do some processing and result give the result back to you as, as one result and one value Pr procedures are usually called to do some you know one time processing and they're not expected to give you any result back so anyway I'll be talking in detail about all these things but just remember the name block can be divided into three categories procedure functions and packages okay now you need to understand how Oracle uh, process your PLSQL program once you write PLSQL program the uh, you know PLSQL engine compiles it and if you have made any syntax errors okay syntax error like all the syntax have to be proper if you're losing uh, using loop or or if then conditions all the keywords should be there okay Un otherwise it won't run so if there's syntax error they will be displayed to you otherwise p code will be created p code is something that program are usually not interested in seeing the p code something in the back end it raw instructions to oracle so one time once the program is compiled one time the p code is stored so that you can run it anytime you like it's a very fast execution if it's never compiled and you're trying to run it once the first time the it, compilation will occur but compilation is only one time the rest of the time it will simply p code will be executed which is pretty fast okay and uh, so once you run uh, the program the runtime error could occur runtime error are different than syntax errors syntax error are related to the syntax runtime error are mostly data dependent error for example if your program is expecting one result back and uh, by the time you were compiling it the like you were getting one result back but while you're running it next subsequent time let's say somebody has modified the data you're getting zero result back or more than one result back you can get a runtime error okay otherwise the program will run successfully the structure of the program is uh, like this you have a declaration section which is optional but I, uh, you wouldn't be writing a program that has no variables in it otherwise uh, uh, how good that program would be so you need uh, basically if you want to declare a variable you would be having a declaration section the whole program logic resides here this is the only compulsory uh, section in your uh, PLSQL block and finally you want to uh, you have an exceptional handling block in which you ca catch the runtime errors and handle them gracefully rather than users seeing a, a technical error message okay so this is the structure of a PLSQL program so if you need uh, to learn more about PLSQL visit my website plsql02pro.com and uh, I'll in a step-by-step -step manner hopefully I'll make you a pro in PLSQL goodbye everybody